What's up YouTube, July from JulyTheMarket.com here, back again with another video. And in this video guys, we're going to be talking about day 10 of the 30 day challenge where I'm doing a follow along from Trailer Wallen's 30 day challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click the link below so you can start from day 1 and then catch up to day 10 where we're going to be talking about my mistakes and what you should be doing in terms of, um, well not doing what I did and <laughs> correcting yourself and what you need to do in order to uh, go through the process successfully, okay? So I learned a few things and I'm going to talk about those things but before I do that, hit that subscribe button, hit that alert button so you you know when I post another video because I'm posting a video um, a video a day for the next 30 days so we're gonna be talking about a lot of different things but right now we're doing the challenge so you definitely want to follow up when I post a new video regarding the challenge so let's actually just talk about what I did wrong with this challenge okay so going into it I really didn't know if people were gonna respond back to me so uh, in videos nine and eight i believe we started doing research about the different products and also researching people um that we would potentially email so i started emailing people last night and i got two responses so on your screen right now you can probably see one of them um you know the the first guy um is from forbidden planet which is one of the companies that i emailed and he says thanks for getting in touch i deal with the, the company advertising we never advertise in games tm so this is the first issue uh, the first issue is that he's saying he never advertised in Games Team, which is incorrect. Actually, um, I actually got you know I got this person's contact information because they actually did advertise in Games Team, and the reason why he's saying he doesn't think that they have or never did that is because he's probably new to that position and he's probably new and doesn't know that in the past they have. Uh, so that's the first mistake. Is it's not current like. The, the 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 advertising of those magazines were not current therefore um, when I say you know I saw that you were advertising in games TM um, they like wait what so actually let's just before I even further uh, go further in, with this response let's actually check out the email that I sent so this is the email I sent I said hi John I hope that this email finds you well my name is Parker and the reason why I use a fake name here uh, another mistake um, is because I, I didn't think that my name would get a better response rate than someone named Parker right um, but the thing is when you're when you're talking about um, when you're talking about uh, sorry I just lost my train of thought because I just got a message um, but when you're talking about a relationship and business relationships you always want to be upfront you want to be real with them right like so I want them to know who I am like it, it doesn't matter that my name is Jelani it doesn't matter about that stuff um, so that's the first mistake but th again this is like a test sent the email to like 10 people so I wanted to see if anyone would respond and I got two responses so that's a really great conversion rate um, just for cold uh, just for cold emailing someone um, so I saw Forbidden Planet was advertising games team and I wanted to reach out and let you know we're doing a free giveaway in the next two weeks and thought your line of products would make a great fit for your giveaway we are wondering if you would like to donate to the contest the best part when you donate you'll receive all the names and email address we collect during the giveaway we're estimating about 30 to 50k people will enter. Uh, I'd love to jump on a quick call to discuss further, blah, 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 right? So then this person, John, res responds back and he says, I can't find Game Junkies website um, of, of a Facebook page or more cor correctly, they don't seem to have launched yet. From what I can see in your phone number, it looks like it's from the US or in the UK. So the value of any across support may be limited. Um, if I were to work with you, would the email names be cleared? For use by a third party the new data protection regulations can make this a minefield i'm pretty tied up today but please send me uh, a mail outlining how you see us working together so from this email i can tell that he is probably interested but the thing about here is um and the issue that this this actually brought to my attention is all the people that I emailed well not all of them but like i would say like 70 percent of the people that I emailed are from the uk okay which is a huge problem um the magazine that i got the, the the back issue was actually um made or owned by a uk publishing company called future plc we went over that and they are primarily in the uk meaning that their 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 company is in the uk therefore they they go by a different set of laws especially the gdpr which means that they probably are not allowed to accept third-party um, email addresses from a company that uh, collected those email addresses. So there's a lot of different things that GDPR uh, regulates and prevents us doing. So that's the first um, issue. The second issue is g getting that thing, uh, the, the things that they're gonna donate shipped from the UK to the US is probably gonna be a pretty nice cost to them, right? I didn't think about that as well, which is something that um, you wanna take into consideration when you're doing this challenge is you wanna make sure that you have a US-based 
uh, magazine if you're doing magazines or a US based company that will potentially be able to donate to you so therefore you don't have to worry about GDPR and you also don't have to worry about astronomical um, shipping um, prices you can just get that shipped to you especially if you're in the US rather cheaply so those are two things that you want to look out for is a target US companies and B make sure that you are upfront um, regardless of your name regardless of anything be upfront with them. So another thing I would have done differently in this email is I would have said how they're going to get the leads. Like how am I getting thirty to fifty thousand people to enter the contest? I would have told them, hey, um, you know, we're partnering up with some really um, prominent companies, and they're going to be uh, donating things to us in exchange for email for the for the leads and the email addresses of all the people that um, enter in. And essentially, you would be getting the competitor's email list, right? Like, essentially, you'll be getting people from other lists um, that maybe your competitor may not be, but you're going to be getting people who are in the gaming niche who you can potentially target your products to, right? So that's another thing I should have done was been more upfront in regards to how this contest actually works. Because you can see here, he said um, uh, he wants an outline. So he's saying, I'm pretty tied up today, but please send me an, a mail outlining how you see us working together, right? So he's probably, he's interested, but he doesn't understand like how this is going to work. So I think if my initial email actually outlined how this process was going to work, then he would have been like, oh, okay, I understand this. Uh, maybe, maybe not, right? But the thing is, he he's in the UK, so it's honestly probably, I'm not gonna be able to save this because of the GDPR, like, and they can't afford to get hit with a fine of a million dollars or whatever the fine is. Uh, honestly, that that rule is ridiculous and it's stupid. But um, you know, it's it's in the UK. That's what that's what it is. We don't have to uh, abide by those rules in the US. So I might as well just focus on US companies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Google and find different companies that are in the US, but also that are in the gaming niche. I'm not going to go to magazines or Barnes and Nobles and look through magazines. I'm just going to go straight up go to Google and find companies that are based in the US who are gaming. Um, companies so I'm gonna look for um, gaming chairs headphones I'm gonna look for mouses um, keyboards mics all these different things that relate to gaming um, and then look at their product line and then reach out to them with a updated email um, so I will definitely have that so let's look at the second email that I got so it says hi there thanks for your email can you provide information on your company links social channels demographics reach etc can you please provide information on, on how you're handling the data Finally, if we do provide any prizes, we would need to receive all verified data prior to sending over code slash prizes. Hope that helps best Dan. So another person who seems maybe they might be interested, who knows, um, this email was a little less friendly. Um, you can tell that he's he's really straight to the point. Like he probably did some research. He probably, both of them did research. They probably went and tried to find gaming junkies and they couldn't find it. Like they couldn't find the social channels. They couldn't find Facebook. They couldn't find Twitter. Like the little things that I do and everyone else would do if you're going to be working with a company, you kind of want to see what they're about. Um, so that is probably something that I would probably want to improve on is like um, getting that, ma making it look more legit. Not saying this is not legit. Like we're going to hand over the leads if they were to donate, but you know when you're trying to get a, a business relationship going from the ground up and they don't really know who you are it's good to have that uh on hand right um i did reach out to trey llewellyn about like how do you overcome these obstacles and he told me to say basically like uh perfect thank you for um um responding back to me uh you know we're we're basically he basically said like we're um we're just trying this out right like we're just trying this new contest concept out and um we were just wondering if you were in like if you were interested that that's basically what he said so like do not provide basically just not providing what they asked for but just saying hey perfect like um give them more information but kind of just sidestep what they're asking for um so that's something that i'm going to be doing in the future round of emails but like i said that's the new game plan guys i'm going to be going on google tonight i'm going to be looking up companies and then um definitely up um i guess i would say probably get about 50 companies maybe more 40 to 50 maybe 60 companies that I could potentially email and just start hammering their emails with an updated version of this copy but i can tell that this is on the right track just because i, I sent out like 12 emails and i got two responses 10 or 12 i can't i can't really remember um and i got two responses which is a great conversion rate and two people that would be interested in potentially 
um, sending over those donations. So this is something that is really, really good. Um, even though we didn't get like the best answer and because they're in the UK, which is something that I didn't even think about until I got this response. Um, it's still good that we got responses and people are saying, hey, like, you know, I want more information. Like, how does this work, right? So this is what we're going to be doing going forward. Um, so this is the new game plan. I hope you guys are psyched. I'm super, super stoked that I even got a response. So this is awesome. It's showing me that this is a potential um, way to actually make money. Like, this is awesome. It's so cool to do it with you guys. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video because they're going to be awesome. There are going to be updates like this. You're going to see back and stuff. We're going to do... Um, you know, updates on uh, how it's going and if it's if it's failing, if it's doing well. Like we, I want to show you guys everything, and I'm showing you guys right here, right now, right. So definitely subscribe, hit that alert button. If you have any comments or suggestions, put them down below. I would love to interact with you guys. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.